welcome once again to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Uh, we are still on vectors. Uh, we want to take a question on the midpoint of a vector. In our previous video, we talked about the position vectors of a midpoint. Now we want to take a question to solve based on that tutorial. So they said M, N, and B are three vectors in a plane. So if A is the midpoint of MN, then we have to find the vector AB. So the question is twofold. We have to find vector AB. So in finding vector AB, that is we have to find the position vector, we have to know the position vector A and that of the position vector B. So it's supposed to be the position vector of the end point B minus the position vector of the, the initial point A. So this is what we need to find what the question is asking us. So we look back to the question and see whether we have the position vector B. We have the point B which we can convert to become the position vector. Now we don't have the position vector of A. So it means we cannot just solve the position vector AB. We need to know what the vector A is. So now we go back to the question and see, is there enough information there that can help us find the vector A? So now they say A is a midpoint of the vector or the point MN, the line segment. So it means we can find the, the vector A from the midpoint. So if I want to find the position vectors of A as lowercase a, M as small letter M and N, the position vector A is going to be half of M plus N. So the position vector of M, which is the points we can convert to position vector with respect to the origin, the N also is given to us. So now our vector A can be derived by one, two, this. So M is five, seven, N is minus seven, three. So now we perform the operation to be five plus minus seven, seven plus three. And I think five plus minus seven will give us negative two. So we have negative two, then we have for 10. So we find half of the x component and that will give us minus one. Half of the y component will give us what? Five. So therefore, our A, the position vector A is minus one seven minus one five so now we know the position vector of a so we can go back by saying that the vector a b is equal to position vector b minus what a and the b has been given to us as minus one eight minus a minus one five so performing that operation become minus one, minus minus one, and eight minus five. So this is going to be minus one, minus minus one, here become plus. So we are going to have zero, then we have what? Three. So therefore, the vector AB that we are looking for is actually zero and what three so it means that under the midpoint there are other questions that can be asked which will require for us to find the midpoint of a certain vector then that information will be used to find whatever the question is given to you all right i pray that you understand and uh, this is uh Tazunomi online mathematics and i'm your teacher Gapo Fred.
you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if this is your first time of watching my video. So uh, and click on the notification button. So anytime I upload videos, you'll be the first to, to see. Thank you very much. See you.